Uh, Indian churches have a different feel, I would say, than, than your average white church. Keeping that old spirit alive with, um, with part of the, the churches and the culture. The family was just like at home, and uh, my cousin's husband built the camp house for us, so that's how we started camping out here. She said people would almost come and just stay like the entire summer there with their children. Every night, well, I mean, the singing, you know, he, he used to just go. One day, all this, all this is going to be gone. All the singing and everything's going to be gone, and nobody's going to be there to pick it up. And that's the way it used to be all churches around here. As church members passed on, they were laid to rest here on the church grounds near the buildings that meant so much to them. As the years passed, some say the spirits of former members still drop by from time to time. We sit down with current members who share some of their stories of paranormal activity that has occurred here at Rock Springs. This is their footage. It's not, you know, really a bad spirit, you know, these are the good spirits. Because, you know, they, they want to be with us. You know, they want the singing part, you know, they want to be with us and help us sing. But if they want you to hear them, then you'll hear them. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, you know, that's the way that, you know, that's the way that works. <laughs> 